Hi, and welcome to another day of Python programming. Today, let's build a countdown timer. All right, so uh, we're going to use create a UI for this as well. So um, have a go at it yourself. Look up online, you might find some ways to do it. If not, don't worry, we'll do it here. So first, open idle, create a new file. We need, of course, tkinter, or tkinter, whatever you want to call it, as tk. And we need to import system. We'll worry about that later. All right, next. So we're going to create a countdown timer. Let's do, use it. we need a variable, so we need a counter. And let's just set it to 100. And we're going to access a label and adjust it. So create your function. This will be our counter label. That's one way to do it. I'd probably do it like this. And we're going to send a label to it. That we're going to create later. And then counter equals zero in here. And in here, we create another function, count. Grab the global of the counter. And the counter, we're going to decrement by one. And then we're going to configure our label. So label.config is how we change the text in a label. Set the text to a string of the counter. All right, and then label dot after counter count. And then call that function. So this function here is going to send the label to adjust it, but it's also going to set off this function as well, the count function, which is going to adjust the label. All right, next. So let's do this. So let's create a view. So view equals tk dot capital T, small k, rounded brackets. Let's set the title to our view to counting countdown. That'd be good. That's good. And then our label. This is the label that we're going to be sending to that function up above. It's a, a widget. Set it to the view. I'm going to give it a color. Done. Pack it into our view. All right, let's call that function. Oops. Counter label. Send that label. It's going to create that function. And we also want to destroy it when we finish. All right, so I'm going to do this when, like, It's going to grab that, that amount and print it to the console. So def print amount left. OK, and we'll print, whoops, need the colon. Print counter. And this is why we need 
the system, we're going to destroy it. So, view dot destroy. There we go. All right, so now let's create our button to destroy it and to get the amount left. TK dot button view. And the text for that button will be stop. Let's give it a width, button width, and a command, which will equal print amount left. And view, wrap this all up in the main loop. All right, let's see how this goes. Count down. Spelt it wrong. All right, that's an example of this. There we go. Yep, there it is, counting down. Uh, though I don't have my button to stop it. Hmm, let's check out what happened there. Can you notice what happened? I did not pack it. You spotted that. Well done if you did. And hit stop. And there we go. It destroys the program and gives the amount left. All right, so that's our countdown. Let's run it one more time just to check it out. Here we go. Seems to get faster, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, negative seven. <laughs> 767, okay, fine. So yeah, that's that. Uh, it's a countdown. It's sort of not counting like per second, but uh, we probably need to use a timer or something like that for, for doing that. So it just runs by using this after, label after, counter count. So it's calling this. All right, and accessing that. And uh, we've got our view, create our label, also created a title for our view, and a button as well to stop it before it hits the last figure. So, and it prints it out. All right, so it's quite a bit in that one. Yeah, have a play around with it, see what you can come up with or how, if you want to design it some other ways. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot and talk to you soon.